Hi, I'm Karen Harrison with the Minnesota School Forest Program at the Department of Natural Resources. Today we're going to measure tree trunks. Measuring trees is something all foresters and a lot of other natural resource professionals need to know how to do. Measuring trees can tell us a lot of things, like how a tree is growing, and that helps us make important decisions about how to manage our trees and forests. For today's lesson, you'll want a flexible measuring tape. If you don't have a flexible measuring tape on hand, you can also do this lesson using a piece of string, ribbon, or yarn, and a 12-inch ruler. It can also be helpful today to have some tape so you can mark your measurements on the tree bark. First, let's make an estimation. Take a look at your hands and take a look at your tree trunk. How many hands do you think it will take to get all the way around your tree trunk? Next, let's take a couple of minutes and measure around our tree trunks with our hands. In order to do that well, I want you to mark your starting and ending points on your tree trunk. An easy way to do that is just to take a piece of tape and place it right on the bark wherever you're going to be starting so you know when you get all the way around to the other side. If you don't have any tape, you could also use a marker to make a small little X on your tree trunk or maybe your bark has some distinct or unique features in order to help you remember where you start and end. So go ahead and pause the video, count how many hands it takes for you to get around your tree trunk and write it down in your worksheet. Then come back to the video when you're done. So we measured around our tree trunks using our hands but unfortunately our hands are non-standard units of measurement. That means our hands are all different sizes. In fact, if you take some time to measure the width and length of your hand, then we can compare as a class and we'll see that there's a lot of different sizes. If we all have different hands, then there's no way for us to compare tree to tree on how our trees are growing because we'd all have different measurements. It's important when we do math to use a standard unit of measurement. Today we'll be using the standard unit of inches. But wait, we have another standard that we have to figure out. If you look at your tree trunk down at the bottom and look up to the top of the tree, you'll notice that the tree trunk gets smaller and smaller as you go higher and higher. So we also need to have a standard height where we measure our circumference. So we're going to use the standard of 24 inches today. So we'll be measuring our circumference at 24 inches off the ground. Using your measuring tape, you can measure up 24 inches. And go ahead and mark that with a piece of tape or a small little X with your marker. Now we don't have to keep measuring 24 inches up to remember where we'll be taking our measurements from. Next, I want you to make another estimation. Taking a look at your ruler or measuring tape, at how big an inch is, how many inches do you think it will take to get around your tree trunk right here? Go ahead and make your best guess and write it down on your worksheet. All right, let's go ahead and measure our actual circumference using our measuring tape. Using our 24 inches off the ground as our standard, we'll take our measuring tape and wrap it around the tree. It's important to make sure that when you wrap your measuring tape around the tree, you're staying level or as straight across as you can all the way around. If your measuring tape drapes down like this, we're not finding the circumference. We're finding the distance of an angle around our tree trunk. So make sure that you Take a look at your measuring tape and do your best to make sure that it's level. Once you find your measurement, go ahead and write it down on your worksheet. If you don't have a measuring tape, like I said, you can use a piece of string, yarn, or ribbon to do your measurement instead. What you want to do is take your string and again, using our standard of 24 inches off the ground, we're going to wrap our string, staying careful to make sure that we're staying as level as possible all the way around our tree. And we can use 
a scissors to cut right where the two pieces meet, or we can also use a marker to mark our string so we know where to take that measurement from. Once we have that, we can set this on a flat surface and use our standard ruler to measure the length of the string. Out in the field, foresters and other natural resource professionals use a standard of four and a half feet off the ground, or 54 inches. This standard is known as diameter at breast height, or DBH. 